film is 50% picture and 50% sound. But the sound of your film is not just there to simply complement the picture. When harnessed correctly, it's a powerful tool to drive the plot and help deliver the story in a really creative way. Today, we're gonna to talk about how you can use creative sound design with dialogue to make your film more unique and immersive. Welcome to the Film Look. Here's a thanks to Premium Beat for sponsoring today's episode. We recommend you check them out whenever you need a great track for your next film. Why don't you visit their royalty-free library to see what we mean, and we've added a link in the description below. Dialogue is self-explanatory. It's a conversation between two or more people, and it is also the sound that delivers that conversation. In film, dialogue should be clear, loud, and audible, so the audience can understand what the characters are saying throughout the film. But this rule doesn't always apply. A really simple and creative sound design technique is the manipulation of dialogue. Let's use one of our films backstage as an example. I've altered the scene to help this concept. The medium is lecturing the fly swatter, but the fly swatter is so preoccupied that he is completely zoned out of the scene. If you want to watch backstage, you can actually find it right here. This is the scene we are now working with. You have two choices, Jackie boy. You can pack your bag, walk to your car, and go home, or you can come to the ring as the fly swatter and make this the greatest debois. As of right now, the scene lacks some punch. The first thing we can do is muffle the sound of the medium's dialogue. We can achieve this with a plugin called a low pass filter. This plugin cuts the high frequency and leaves only the bass and can't be adjusted for taste. It generates a sound which seems like someone is speaking on the other side of the wall. We can fade in the effect just as the fly swatter loses eye contact. That is our cue. Let's see what it adds to the scene. You have two choices, Jackie boy. You can pack your bag, walk to your car, and go home, or you can come to the room, as the fly swatter, and make it a so this is already a step in the right direction, but we can add a little bit more to this. A classic sound effect we can add to this shot is a shell-shocked buzzing tone. We can add that in and slowly raise the volume to emphasise the moment even further. Let's have a listen. You have two choices, Jackie boy. You can pack your bag, walk to your car, and go home, or you can come to the room, now we are starting to get in the realm of preoccupation. He isn't just tuning out of the medium, his mind is generating a numb sound. Let's go one step further and complement the high frequency tone with a rumbling cinematic bass. You have two choices, Jackie boy. You can pack your bag, walk to your car, and go home, or And the last thing we can do to help smooth out the cut to the next scene is grabbing a cinematic impact sound effect, reversing it and placing it at the end of the sound as a crescendo. You have two choices, Jackie boy. You can pack your bag, walk to your car, and go home, or you can come to the room, the Something as simple as dialogue manipulation and a little bit of layering is a powerful storytelling tool. We went from a character simply staring off into the distance to being inside his mind. We want the audience to feel what he is experiencing, so by numbing the sound of the medium and adding some uncomfortable noise, it feels like we are really jumping in at the fly swatter's head. If you're new to sound design, it's definitely worth catching up with our indie film sound guide you can find right here. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can do that with the orange lens cap just by clicking it, and remember to achieve it one shot at a time.